The X-Class submarine was a World War II midget submarine class built for the Royal Navy during 1943 and 1944. Known individually as X-Craft, the vessels were designed to be towed to their intended area of operation by a full-size mother submarine with a passage crew on board. The operational crew being transferred from the towing submarine to the X-Craft by dinghy when the operational area was reached. The passage crew returning with the dinghy to the towing submarine. Once the attack was over, the X-Craft would rendezvous with the towing submarine and then be towed home. Range was limited primarily by the endurance and determination of their crews, but was thought to be up to 14 days in the craft or 1,500 miles distance after suitable training. Actual range of the X-Craft itself was 500 nautical miles surface and 82 nautical miles at 2 knots submerged. The craft was about 51 feet long, 5.5 feet in the maximum diameter and displaced 27 tons surfaced and 30 tons submerged. Propulsion was by a four-cylinder Gardner 4LK 42 horsepower diesel engine converted from a type used in London buses and a 30 horsepower electric motor given a maximum surface speed of 6.5 knots and a submerged speed of 5.5 knots. The crew initially numbered three, a commander, a pilot, an ERA, engine room artificer, i.e. engineer, but soon a specialist diver was added for which an airlock known as the wet-dry compartment was provided. The ERA, usually a naval chief petty officer, operated most of and maintained all of the machinery in the vessel. The weapons on the aircraft were two side cargoes, explosive charges held on opposite sides of the hull with two tons of amatol in each. The intention was to drop these on the seabed underneath the target and then escape. These charges were detonated by a timed fuse. The crafts were fitted with electromagnets to evade detection by anti-submarine detectors on the seabed. The X-Craft had a short service. Their first deployment was Operation Source in September of 1943 where an attempt to neutralize the heavy German warships based in Norwin, Norway. Six aircraft were used, but only two successfully laid charges under the Tirpitz. The rest were lost, scuttled, or returned to base. Tirpitz was badly damaged and out of commission until April of 1944. Good afternoon, folks. Switcher here with an inbox review of which... A subject of uh, significant importance, so once again, this is uh, the British uh, X-Craft submarine, simply known uh, to folks in the circle at the time as X-Craft. Uh, this comes from uh, Merit, uh, kit number uh, 63504. It will have a overall length of 17.6 uh, inches with a hull of, uh, or the beam of uh, 3 inches, okay? Uh, quite large. I mean, the box just barely fits in uh, the photo, and uh, we're zoomed all the way out. Um, we'll see here. We're going to uh, bring the lights back up. I just do that to avoid uh, the glare off the box. And uh, there we have the box art. There is a top view. And uh, what we see here are the two detachable um, charges okay uh, on the side of the submarine they just drop them down and then they scoot away uh, it comes with uh, photo etch and uh, Dwight Ensign uh, not much more on anything else uh, and there we have a shot of uh, looking at her from uh, over here from the stern from the bow and we have a side shot uh, I've been wanting to have to get my hands on this for quite some time. Uh, I paid thirty-five dollars for this uh, from China, okay, uh, plus shipping in this particular case. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's open up the box here and uh, have a peek inside. Uh, and as you know me, I like going through the instructions first because uh, that tells me uh, what I'm looking at. Paul, uh, during a, a session that uh, Paul ha and I have this is several sessions, uh, both by email and Skype uh, weekly, we try to get a hold of us each other on Skype uh, because we can 
use that as a show and tell instead of uh, writing down words. And uh, so here we have uh, the instructions, and we're going to zoom in uh, while we're doing the instruction. No sense to be zoomed out anymore. <laughs> okay, and uh, there we have it. And uh, they say, uh, you know, normal instructions, you got your symbology over here. And uh, we have our sprue map. And one, two, three, four, five, five sets of sprues. And we go into the whole construction. Now, this is a, a relatively simple model, okay, to build, folks. Uh, these are quick and dirty, so if you want a quick and dirty build, uh, you just go, <laughs> go ahead and do it. So, uh, we have the assembly of the hull, okay, and uh, the two hatches. And then we go into uh, step number two. Uh, this will probably take me, oh, I'd say about four hours to build. <laughs> they're, 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 they're easy. Okay, and then uh, there we have in step... Uh, Number two, we're adding uh, bits of uh, the conning tower there. We're adding uh, uh, the dive plane and, uh, and rudder. And we have our, some type of uh, support here, okay? And we're just continuing uh, with the rudder area with the various uh, uh, bits and bobs. And uh, move that aside. Uh, here we have, as we can see here, we have the linkages, okay, to, uh, Operate the rudder up and down and so on and so forth, okay? And the same thing is happening uh, with the, the dive planes. And uh, a lot of neat detail happening on here, okay, that is not molded in. Uh, we haven't looked at the sprues yet, but we will, okay? But it's just to, to show us. Uh, we've got a lot of little bits uh, down here that are going to go in there. And... Um, some over here. I'm not quite sure. I'm not. I'm not familiar with uh, uh, this type of craft. Okay, very few are still in existence. So basically, we've got uh, and here's our uh, our charges themselves. Okay, and I'm not quite sure what those uh, gizmos are. Okay, but here we see down here the submarine itself. Okay, with uh, without the charges. Okay, and she's just a. Uh, she's very very or with the char. Uh, Without the charges, okay, and very, very well streamlined and all that good stuff. And I would imagine that uh, the specs that we discussed earlier are uh, somewhat uh, better uh, when she doesn't have the amethyl charges on her sides, okay. And uh, to complete the submarine, uh, last uh, but not least, always in submarines is uh, your periscope and your snorkels and so on and so forth. And uh, that's about that. Okay, it's got a nice little display stand and so on, and along with the 135 scale British submarine X craft. Okay, so that is the instructions, and uh, the paint uh, call out on her is uh, relatively simple. Okay, we got Mr. Hobby Vallejo and uh, Model Master. Okay, uh, Timia and Humbrol, and of course, this ship is uh, painted all in one color. Okay, and that would be medium gunship gray and uh, What I intend to do is we're going to uh, Play uh, play with this uh, to give her some nuances and all that good stuff uh, Some Marines are black. Uh, they were black in, in the day and especially this particular vehicle. It's not really a submarine Okay, uh, it is more uh, a weapon. Okay, so that is that and we'll move that off to the side and uh, We'll get into the sprues and um, we're, uh, as you know me, I always start with the hull or whatever, and no difference, okay, whether it be a tank or uh, a submarine, we'll get into the hull here and uh, open up the bag so uh, folks can see. And uh, there we have it, and uh, we're going to zoom out so we can get everything in shot and uh, do a measurement. And we always, there we go. Okay, so uh, we are sitting on zero over here, and we'll put the bow on that. And over here where my finger is is 17 inches. Okay, so the ship weighs, uh, <laughs> weighs uh, is uh, 17 inches in length. And it has a, uh, one, two, uh, uh, a depth, okay, without the counting tower of all that good stuff of uh, three inches, and its girth is three inches. And, uh, We've seen some uh, 
I don't know if they're going to show up in the paint. We see some uh, discoloration here and all that good stuff. And of course, there's something on the rear of that. Uh, there's some ejector pin marks on in the interior, and we don't really care about that. I don't see any on the exterior, and I don't see any flash. Okay, uh, everything is uh, positioned ni nicely, and I like uh, that uh, all the vents and so on and so forth are are there. And I'll be able to drill those out instead of having oblongs. We do have some over here, and I can work with I can work with these. Uh, later on, I like uh, their configuration and all that good stuff. Um, uh, that's about it. Nice and crisp. And uh, there we have. Uh, I got to zoom in on that since uh, we do we can. Do -do 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 -do. And uh, there we have uh, the deck detail and all that good stuff. And a forward area okay, on the bow area. Okay, nice model. I'm glad uh, Paul had got me on to this because I had given up on this craft, okay? As you know, switcher builds things of significance or significance to me. But they, it, you know, they're not just significance to me. They played a role um, in whatever theater they were developed before, okay? And this one here, if the Turpits and the Bismarck has sailed the seas together, uh, maybe it would be strongly Dutch now, okay? And uh, so... Uh, Let's get into uh, the goodies, and uh, we'll get into uh, the booms. Okay, yes, I know they're bombs, but I mean, I like to uh, do like uh, the Pink Panther, the boom. Okay, so we've got the booms. And, of course, uh, we have some stuff that's going to go on there. We saw those that were like a type of handle that go in there. And uh, there we have some detail of the front of the conning tower, nice rivet detail and all that, the kind of stuff that was expected back in uh, in those days. Okay, same as uh, the dive planes and whatever, as we can see, uh, some nice uh, riveting going on there. And uh, uh, no flash to date on any of this, so uh, I uh, it's going to be a pleasure to build that. Uh, there is uh, some... Uh, some texture on the uh, the planes. It is a, it's a texture. It's not a boo boo. It's just that it's on the uh, the rear there. That uh, there's texture on that, almost like a non skid. Okay, but we know it's not non skid because you don't know you don't normally walk on the planes. And. Um, so we have uh, two uh, two sprues of the goodies here, and of course I uh, I did pay attention very much attention to a lot of stuff uh, that was going on on the instruction. Oh, okay, I understand what these are now, and uh, something is uh, wonky here. I don't they don't want to come apart for some reason. And I believe it's because the stand is... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, and uh, there we have it. There's the details of those handles, okay, that go on. Uh, the Amethal charges, uh, some nice fiddly bits here. Okay, we got various uh, eyelids and so on and so forth. Uh, really, really, really tiny. We have some railing here. Uh, we have a broken railing or periscope. It looks like uh, these are railings, okay. Uh, no, they're not railings. Those are uh, the drive rods, okay, for um, uh, the, the, the after dive planes, okay. And only one of them uh, is broken. So that is nice. And this, of course, is a duplicate. So we'll put that uh, back together again. You know, stuff happens. I'm not too upset with that. I mean, it's easily fixed. Uh, the... Uh, the part uh, can be a scratch bill. That's a 1 uh, uh, rod. Why do I know this? I've been playing with a rod there for a long time, okay, on uh, the sack bill. And uh, last but not least, uh, here we have the various uh, uh, components. Okay, here's our periscopes, okay, and our snorkels and so on and so forth. And uh, I'm not going to take these out of the bag. It's all tiny parts. I want to preserve them because I don't know when I'm going to get around to this. But uh, lovely, lovely kit. Uh, no flash that I've seen, and the injector pin marks are where they're supposed to be. 
So uh, it comes with a small uh, piece of photo etch, and uh, uh, this will go uh, on the deck and all that good stuff for some uh, decorating. And there we see it in close up. Do, 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 do. Focus. There we go. Okay. Just a, just a nice touch. And uh, last but not least, uh, the decals. Quite large flag that's going to go beyond this beast. Okay, and there we have the decals. Uh, they're well within, uh, they are glossy though. Uh, well within, uh, if I can just shine the light properly. Oh, yeah. Very, very little, about a hair width, okay, out of uh, the decal itself of carrier film. And uh, nice and crisp. They are shiny, but other than that, uh, beautiful decals. So uh, that was my review, and uh, we kept this uh, total under about 16 minutes, which wasn't too bad. Of course, we got a brief history. I like giving a brief history, and uh, folks understand why I'm building certain uh, things. Um, I like things of significance, okay? And uh, I go towards that, and I like to thank Paul at this time, okay, for showing me his, okay? Show me yours, and I'll show you mine. <laughs> From For showing me his, and... Uh, like I said, I had given up on the kit, and then, uh, he showed me his, and I googled exactly his model maker, and uh, the part number, and would him, and uh, sure enough, I pulled the trigger on it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this, folks. Thanks for watching. Without further ado, Switcher, signing off.